so welcome guys to my channel youtube channel and today we are going to discuss raising inequality a very important topic in banking examinations and uh, uh, very easy to solve raising inequality and i'm sure that most of you would be able to solve this question given the time in hand but what is we are looking at this tutorial is a better approach to solve this question or uh, approach which is which can help us get to our answers very quickly or very neatly very easily so uh, very accurately that we will be arriving with our answers because the chances of getting it wrong are very high in reasoning inequality questions okay so any reasoning inequality questions uh, question is something like this we are given quantities like d a c so we are given quantities with respect to alphabets uh, with reference to alphabets and we are given some relations among these quantities some are greater some are less some are equal to and we are given multiple statements and we are asked to verify we are given multiple statements like these and we are asked to verify which of these statements are true or is it that both the statements are true or both the statements are false can we conclude one or two from these sets of statements so that is what we are given so let us try to understand how we will be solving these kinds of questions quickly and very accurately so the idea behind this is these observations the first observation is all these are quantities right and we have some relation specified this is equivalent to saying that we are given a quantity n and we can say that n is greater than 2 which will mean that n can be any number greater than 2 so we have quantity 1 we have quantity 2 it can it can be b here so b can be less than n so in number line if you see n will be towards right and b towards left why how because 5 if if we know that 5 is greater than 2 we always write the greater quantity towards right and the lesser quantity towards left so what if we are given c is b is greater than c so c will be again towards the left of b right because in number line as we go from left to right from left to right we're increasing the value is increasing the value is getting bigger bigger right on two four six eight likewise so that is what consider this number line and we we know that three is greater than five four is greater than three so how we, we will draw we will write three here the greater quantity towards right the greater quantity towards right again the greater towards right so quantity in left hand side will be smaller quantity in right hand side will be greater that is what we will be using here we will arrange all these quantities on number line before we jump into problem solving and try to understand let us try to understand few meanings that we will be dealing with few we will need to have the understanding of these few relations what do we mean when we say p is greater equal to e that will mean two things either p is greater than e or p is equal to e so both these things are valid i hope and this everybody you know right what how do we represent when we say p is greater than e is greater than m on number line we know that p is towards right of e how because p is greater than e and we know that greater quantities are towards the right 5 is greater than so we will in number line this will be our number line so we will draw something like this that and we will use our we will be using our relations even though we will represent p towards the right this will help us in equal equal cases so we will be using our relation so p is greater than e p is towards the right of e in number line the greater quantity towards right e is greater than m so m is towards the left of e or e is towards the right of the greater quantity the greater quantity is e towards the right what relation do we have between p and m you know we also we can derive that p is towards the right of m in number line that is p is greater than m very clearly what do we mean when we say this in number line in number line we if we take first two we will know that p is greater than e if we take the next two we know that m is greater than e so m is greater than e so m is towards the right why i didn't draw here because we know that m can be here m can be here we just know that m is towards the right of e right towards the right of e so m can be here or m can be here so 
rather than using any kind of or assuming any relation with respect to p and m i just draw it in a separate line towards the right of e All right this is again towards the right of e e is here m is here so i drew it towards the right what is the relation between p and m here that we don't know or can't be determined cannot be determined relation between p and m we just know that m is towards the right of and p is also towards the right of e that is it is greater than consider this example how we will relate this in number line so again these are quantities and we have relations given the heavier quantities the greater quantity quantities towards the right so we will start with these two a should be towards the right of b because a is greater than b b is equal to c d is greater than c so d is towards the right of c so d is towards the right of this so d here right towards the right we don't know where in the right we just know towards the right so we will break the line and we'll draw d towards the right of b so d is still towards the right of b d is greater than m so d is greater than m so m is towards the left of d right that is what and that is how we will draw let us try to understand our questions our question is so we are given three statements and the respective relations we are asked to find whether f is greater or equal to e whether the which of these conclusions are true we have our options here so is option one is true let us try to find f is greater or equal to e so where is our f f is here where is e e is here so how can we relate f and e we can relate f and e via n or d right because f is only related with n or d and n is related with e so via n we have relation between these two and we have relation between these two so via n for number one via n we can reach our conclusion let us try to draw number line the greater quantity towards right so f where is f here f anywhere we can draw where is n equal to we'll write equal to here left hand side or right hand side will mean equal when we are given equal to n is greater or equal to b so n is towards the right of b n is greater than b and equal to also where is e b is equal to e what relation do we have between f and e f is towards the right of e with equal to sign because equal to here equal to here so it can also be equal to so one is true number two c and d where is c and d okay so we can use it via a very simple that you okay so we where is c swim we can start with c now we know that a is less than c so a should be left hand side of c and what do we know about d and a that a is greater equal to d so a is towards the right of d what relation can we establish from here that c is towards the right of d c is greater than d or right of d why not equal to is there because there's no equal to here so here c is less than which is wrong c is greater than d number three n is greater equal to e so a where is n and where is a n here we have relations p and e with respect to n do we have b and e no a is related with d and e can we relate n with d and e d and c yes we have a relation between n and d and we have relation between a and d so why are d so let us try to quickly draw a number line where we will start with n we know that n is equal to f and f is greater than d so f this is greater than d so d is towards the left hand side coming here we know that d is even less than a so a is greater than d right and we need to find relation with n and a what relation can we start no relation cannot be determined so this is not a conclusion from this these statements right because both are towards the right of d but we don't know which right n is towards the right of d in other line we know that even a is towards the right of d we don't know where is n and a in the right side right number four p and f so i will delete it to draw four number four p and f where is b b is here where is f f is here f is related with n and d is b is related with any of these two quantities yes 
so v n is our n will help us so via n we can reach here number line the greater quantity towards right so we will start with which quantity b and f right so we will start with anywhere b and f so b now we know that n is greater or equal to b so n is towards the right of b right n is greater or equal to and n is equal to f this is equal to f so and so what is the relation between b and f we know that f is towards the right side with equal to symbol all throughout all the terms so it will join with equal to as well so this is true we had one and four true number two so let us uh, try to solve this question as well to get a clearer understanding of what we just learned i will try to solve this very quickly so r is greater than k number one where is r and where is k r is here where a k is here what can we use to relate what, what is our helping term u will help us right r can be related with u even k is related with u so why are you so remember guys there are two things that we need to understand first is number line that we are representing where do we represent greater towards right greater quantity towards right greater quantity in right and number two is helping terms which will help us to establish relationship so what is the helping term r and k how can we reach r how can we establish a relation between r and k why are you right r is related with you even k is related with you so why are you we, we can use so we will try to establish between r and u in number line so start with r anywhere in the number line r is greater than s so r is towards the right of s in the number line right from left to right s is equal to t anywhere only thing is we know both are equal e u is greater equal to t so u is towards the right of t this is t right this is whole t t and s are equal so u is towards the right of t u is here towards the right right towards the right we raised u now try to establish relation with key with respect to u m is greater equal to u so m is greater than u so m is towards the right with equal to sign right with equal to sign k is greater than m so k is also sorry okay so k is also greater than m so k is towards the right of m right so k is greater than m so what relation between r and k no relation r and k these are two separate we don't we don't have any relation between this line and this line we just know that whole of these are towards the right of t even r is towards the right which one comes first we don't know so we cannot establish any relation number two m is m and t right so we we have our relation between m and t from this line m is towards the right of t so we can directly say m is towards the right of t from our previous question but still we will establish just for the sake of practice so where is m and where is t m is here t is here what is the common point u is the helping term u will help us so we will draw m is greater than equal to u so m is towards the right of u u is again towards the right of t u is greater equal to t so u is again towards the right of t so m is basically towards the right of t so m is greater than t here also we found m towards the right of t so m is this is true number three p and u so where is p and where is u p is here u is here so we can directly relate so now using this statement alone so we'll start with p u p p is equal to k k is towards the right of m k is greater term so k in the number line will be towards the right of m right and k is towards the right of and what okay and m is greater equal to u m is towards the right of u m is greater term right so what relation do we have between u and p we know that p is towards the right of u with no equal to sign so p is greater than u is correct number four i'll just erase this to draw number four so we had this and i think this so okay two three s and m where is s and where is m s is here where is m m is here what is the helping term u can help us to reach here because m is related with u s is also related with u so why are u so 
number line the heavier terms towards the right we will start with s any term we will start with s s is equal to t u is greater equal to t that is u is towards the right of t and m is greater equal to u so m is even more towards the right of u because m is a greater term right m is a greater term so do we have a relation between s and m yes m is towards the right of t m is the right side or greater than the left side in number in our number line so m is greater than s but we have equal to throughout right so we will use a equal to just verify the equal to signs also always so we we are always connected with a equal to sign so m is greater equal to s m is greater equal to s so two three and four so i hope guys you have got these two idea of number line and helping terms so the if you keep the, these two in, in your mind while writing out the relations you will be able to solve any raising inequality questions very easily and just practice practice so practice will help you a lot in drawing this very very fast there's nothing in it basically you just verify each of these terms cross 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 tick right thank you very much